As you guys are aware, the Great Deeds Triumph includes getting 600 laurels from forges. As you can see, I am in the forge right now, and you're seeing the strat that I would highly recommend you use over anything else besides maybe one two punch uh, shoddy hunter builds. So, what you want to do here is get on a Titan, get on a top tree striker, and then equip insurmountable skull fort. If you don't know what that is, it is this exotic element right here. What this does is basically makes your shoulder charge an infinite charge. If you hit an enemy and kill them, your melee charge immediately comes back, and then you can rinse and repeat that non-stop. All these red bar enemies can be one-shot by it. The only thing you can't one-shot is the uh, gladiator that you saw me hit earlier, which is why I lost my melee charge here. Now, to combat that, if you do lose your melee, so there's the Monte Carlo. You put it on, and you just start spraying away until you get your melee charge back. So, for example, here's the yellow bar. Bam, melee's back. And then you just go to town. Scions die, Legionnaires die. Now, I would recommend you do this in a fire team because obviously others might not be doing what you're doing. And if you do get a fire team, I was just thinking in round one because if you go to round two, like we are right now, you get phalanxes and you get uh, other shielded enemies that do not die in one hit or make problems for you. Like, let's say you melee a phalanx and you hit the shield. Obviously, it's not going to kill it. It's going to take your melee charge. You're going to have a bad time. Which is basically what you can see here. Luckily, he died to the AoE damage, and I got the Laurel, but that's not always going to happen. So, like I said, stay round one. It's much easier and much more consistent. Definitely use this Titan build. I'll show it real quick, just in case. Top Tree Striker right here. Skull Fort right here. It's a sick combo. Here's Monte Carlo, the auto that will get your melee back. And that's it. It should take you approximately three Forge runs on average. You can infinitely build up a clock if you have a fire team here, but... I've heard if you go up to about an hour or 30 minutes, it'll just kick you out. So it might take you like three runs. Also, Discord's annoying. Sorry about that. Hopefully this helps. Enjoy. If it helps, leave a like and a sub and it'll be appreciated.